Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com So today I'm going to tell you about the four mistakes that won't let you crack the SBI clerk exam SBI clerk pre-exam 2018 right so let's discuss these four mistakes quickly the first mistake a lot of people a lot of mentors a lot of teachers have already told you that never stuck on a question students there are a lot of students you know who will pre-decide that that if I see the number series questions right in case there are five number series questions this is I'm not going to skip this part at all the there are five questions of number series I'm not going to skip this these questions at all but there is a possibility that these questions are very tough while the DI maybe there is a possibility that DI is very very easy as compared to number series so that can be a strategy of the exam examiner the paper setter that can be a strategy here that everybody already know that as per the trends number series is easy as per the trends the quadratic equations is easy as per the trends the miscellaneous questions are easy and di is already all, almost every time it is little more harder than the number series questions so the examiner comes with the strategy that okay this time the di is going to be easier than number series then what you are going to do so never make such kind of strategies right so never stuck on a question so if there are five questions of number series and you got stuck on a number series question and you like wasted like three four minutes on a question right that will take your the success away from you okay so never stuck on a question that is the point number one whether it is number series di or a reading competition or any question if one question if one question is taking more than one minute make this a benchmark then skip it and in case of a data interpretation if after going through a data interpretation for let's say one minute or one and a half minute or two minutes you are unable to understand anything about the set so if you are unable to understand anything about the di set the best strategy is to skip that question or skip that set so there are 100 question and 60 minutes and you are just giving one minute to every question even to a set i know that to solve a set you need three to five minutes but if you are unable to understand the set at all within one minute the best strategy is to skip it the second point never solve an rc without reading a comprehension i mean there are a lot of teachers a lot of english teachers a lot of mentors who are going to tell you that uh, first of all read the questions questions and then go back to the comprehension and find your answer that is a wrong strategy first of all go through the comprehension and then move on to the questions you have to read the comprehension if you don't have the time don't attempt just do not attempt the comprehension but if you have started you know uh, answering the comprehension never answer the questions without reading the comprehension that is my tip number two or that is a that, that's a kind of mistake that you should avoid never answer an rc without read uh, never answer the rc's question without reading the comprehension the most important point the third point unable to make mental calculations this is the third mistake there are a lot of students suppose you want to make this calculation 705 multiplied by let's say 42 can you do this mentally can you do this calculation in your mind if your answer is no then it would be very difficult for you to crack this exam right in the data interpretation questions or even in the miscellaneous questions what the examiner is expecting from you can you find this value 11 over 14 into percentages in your mind see i'm not expecting you to provide the exact answer can you provide the approximated answer if your answer is yes then this exam is for you so if you are not able to do these calculations in your mind this is the right time to practice this instead of you know uh, finding new books to solve instead of you know i get a lot of calls from you that sir suggest to me a new book su suggest to me a harder book that should not be the question what i re what i recommend you is see 
there go there i have made an approximation video where i you know taught you how to do these calculations in your mind the video is available here the link is available right in the cards just open that video open that approximation video that's how you can you know build your strong calculation abilities you can improve your calculation speed the calculation speed is very important so if your calculation speed is not fast enough this exam is not for you the next mistake afraid of getting failed that is the most important part students there are a lot of students who are failing the bank exam who, who have actually failed the bank exam for like two three four five six attempts now they are really afraid of getting failed they are not taking the risk be a risk taker taking the risk is very important be a risk taker you need to take a risk during the exam if you have a doubt between two options there are three options uh, uh, five option a b c d e so if you are doubtful about two options you need to take a risk here right that's why we are doing the approximation that's why i'm teaching the approximation technique it is not possible for you to find the exact answers right on your mind in your mind you need to use your mind and when when you are using your mind when you are finding the approximated answer thus accuracy is going to suffer a little bit but if you are if you are solving that uh, these if you are doing this calculation on a paper at max you can attempt 40 45 questions this is the situation but you have to make the approximation you have to take the risk be a risk taker attempt 70 question 80 question the max that you can do even more than that right take risk so students i am providing a free mock test series for sba clerk exam yes it is completely free there is nothing nothing is hidden here learn.bankexamstudy.com it is going to be available on 23rd of feb 2018 it will be available here link is available in the description i recommend request all of you to you know sign up on learn.bankexamstudy.com and join the free S sbi clerk test series course there right you need to join this course for free this course is free okay so go to learn.bankexamstudy.com and take this free test series we are going to start from 23rd of february and one more most important thing is this, this test series also available on your android phone install the bank exams today's mobile app bank exams today's mobile app right the mobile app the link to the mobile app is available in the description i am already providing a lot of good content a lot of good free study material in the form of pdf to you please share the pdfs that i am providing to you so that's all for today students in case you have any doubt in case you are facing any problem please make a comment i'll answer all your doubts so that's all for today students please subscribe to my channel i'm doing a lot for you right i want you to subscribe my channel subscribe so please subscribe to my channel like this video and share this video with your friends thank you and have a nice day bye